everyone, my name is Amber Stowell. I'm the laboratory manager at the Regional Science Consortium. I'm going to show you a really quick and easy experiment that you can do to demonstrate climate change that you can do right in your own home. You don't have to go outside, you don't have to go to school. It'll take a few days to see your results, but it's a really cool project that you can do for like a whole week and just monitor your tiny experiment in your house and look at how climate change is impacting our environment. So all you will need to do this are the materials that you see in front of me. You will need two cups. They don't have to be plastic. They could be glass. They can be clear. Um, I just happen to have two plastic cups. You will need some fresh soil. You can either take that from outside um, somewhere in your yard or you can uh, take that from some potting soil that you might have left over. You need one rubber band. You'll need a little bit of water. You need plastic wrap or saran wrap. You'll need a thermometer that's capable of reading at least room temperature um, and a little higher than that. We found out that this type that you use to take your own temperature will not work. Uh, it doesn't go low enough, so we're going to set that off to the side. And you'll need a pen or a marker or some type of writing utensil and just some paper. So I'm going to show you how to get the experiment set up here very quickly. The first thing that you'll want to do is put equal amounts of soil into each of your cups. So I'm just going to take my soil and kind of pour it in. Even it out a little bit. Okay. Get closer to that. See how they're even there? We're going to take just a little bit of water in each cup just to dampen that soil and kind of get any uh, anything living in there, any bacteria or microbes that might be living in there, um, give them a little bit of food, kind of mix it around a little bit. doesn't have to be that precise. Once you've added your water, then you'll want to add your saran wrap. I recommend doing two layers of saran wrap. Wrap that around only one cup, and then add your rubber band to seal it. And you'll want to make it nice and tight across the surface of your cup. So at this point, you should have one cup with soil and water and no saran wrap, and one cup with soil and water with a double layer of saran wrap. Now, what this is demonstrating is planet Earth is the soil and the water, and the atmosphere that enables us to stay warm is the saran wrap. This cup demonstrates an Earth that doesn't have additional layers of atmosphere that are caused by climate change. Because we know that as the climate changes, what's happening is all of the atmospheric things like CO2 and water vapor are collecting around our planet, and they're creating a layer that's making our planet more warm than it can really handle. So to demonstrate that, you have your orange cup. The saran wrap layer is that additional layer of CO2 molecules and water vapor that are holding moisture and heat in. So what you're gonna do for the next, I would suggest seven to 10 days, is every day or every other day, you're gonna take the temperature of both of these cups, the soil in the cups. So what you'll do is you'll set both cups somewhere on a windowsill where you get a lot of light in your house and you'll create a graph using your paper. I'm going to show you how to make the graph. So to make your graph, we're first going to give it a good title, right? So you'll need to make two graphs total. So let's say control cup. That will represent earth, no climate change. And on this side, you'll have one axis, that'll be temperature, and this side will be days. So right on this side, temperature, and this side will be days. So your temperature here is probably going to start about at 
let's say 60 degrees, just in case your windowsill happens to be very cold. And let's put a mark every five degrees after that. So 60 will start at the bottom. You'll have 65 degrees, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, and 100. And this is in Fahrenheit, by the way. And then every day or every other day, you're gonna take the temperature of that control cup. And so we'll start, we'll say day zero, we'll take the temperature today. And then day one, two, three, four, five, six. So every single day you'll take that temperature and you'll mark it like today, we'll mark our temperature and I will just show you really quick. So that's my starting temperature of my thermometer and I'm gonna put it in this blue cup so it can start taking that temperature. Meat thermometers take a little while longer to take that temperature. Now you're going to create the same graph for the orange cup or for your um, earth cup that's impacted by climate change, but it won't be a control cup. It'll be your experiment cup. and you'll do the exact same thing, the same axis on the X and Y side, you'll, do, you'll take the same measurements. What you should see over a period of seven to 10 days is this, the control cup temperature will go up, but it'll maintain at some point. It'll plateau and it'll stay, that temperature. But your uh, experiment cup, the other cup, you'll see that continuously rise and plateau at a much higher temperature after seven to 10 days. So let's check our temperature. It's at about 72 degrees. So for our day one here, we're gonna mark that at 70, or day zero, 72 degrees. So then tomorrow, when I measure, I'll measure it again. And I'll do the same thing with this cup. So I hope you can do this experiment at home. If you need more guidance, please visit our website at www.regsciconsort.com. You can also make a comment on this video and I will try to answer your comments. And if you have any results that you wanna share with us, please definitely do that. We're excited to be able to bring this to you guys, um, something that you can do at home, studying climate change and other science topics. Um, if you have any suggestions, please let us know and please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more educational activities that you can do.